Gur Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Hot Date, and many of you may have seen this game. For those of you who haven't, this is a pug dating simulator, like a pug like the dog. You date pugs in a speed dating situation, and you just ask them questions and engage in dialogue back and forth. It looks ridiculous. You guys know I love dating sims, so why the hell not? Let's go ahead and get started. Ugh, whatever. I'm Philippe. What's your dumb name? Uh, alright, we're Waffles Flapjack. That's a, that's a good name, right? That's that's our name. That's cute. Hey, Waffles Flapjack. Uh, nice to meet you. How's it going? Yo, you look lovely. Uh-oh, tell me a bit about yourself. <laughs> this is beautiful. Um, yo, I could say the same to you. <laughs> could I? I don't understand street talk. <laughs> um, yes. Well, I'm glad. Yay, Philippe was kind of a jerk in the beginning, but now he's really, really nice. Let's ask him some questions. So we have the ability to expand these menus, and we get to pick word by word what we're going to say, pretty much, or phrase by phrase. What would your superhero power be? What are your hobbies? What annoys you? What are you thinking about? What is your favorite band, musician, uh, cartoon character? Flavor of Panda Pop. I Whoa, he just said I love you to us. Whoa, that's intense. Of course you are. You're so predictable. Wait, what? Whatever, Jin. Gin is his favorite flavor of... That's not a very fun answer. What's your favorite letter in the Greek alphabet? <laughs> of course you're asking that. Of course you are. You're so predictable. He said this again. What a jerk. Whatever. Whatever. What? You didn't even, you didn't even answer the question, you piece of shit. God damn, Philippe's kind of a dick. All right, whatever. Um, do you have a happy place? Yeah, tell me about your happy place. Don't we all? No. No, we don't. Wow, Philippe. Myself included. I don't know if I want to date Philippe. He seems kind of jerky. Get some emotional depth, blah, blah, something. Maybe I've got a melancholy place. No one ever asks that. Uh, do you have a melancholy place? Oh, you. What a lovely question. I like someone with emotional depth to their inquisition. <laughs> I do have a place. Play your cards right, and maybe you'll get to see the cave of desperation. <laughs> oh, Philippe, you card, you. You're funny. Uh, do you have any nicknames? Yeah, do you have any nicknames? Maybe. Maybe not. Who's to say what's a nickname and what's a real name? Oh god, that's so existential. What is real? Is that your real hair? Uh, it is. It's quite lovely, isn't it? Um, maybe. Cool. <laughs> yeah, see, I know all about existentialism. I'll say maybe because it's like going to be the most ambiguous and, and questionable answer that you could have. I love the questions in this. They're so goofy and the answers too. The dialogue just so weird. Are you local? Do I look like I live around here? No, thank you. Are you someone who likes to play darts, go to the park, express yourself through interpretive dance, base jump, complain excessively? You sound like one, Philippe. I would call my winery excessive. Just my bi-weekly complaints in writing. <laughs> Whatever gets you through the day, or I, I think you have some problems. Whatever gets you through the day. Oh, time's over. Like I said, guys, it's speed dating, so I can say see ya. I had a great time. I never want to see you again, or let's meet up again, okay? Um, I never want to see you again, Philippe. You're a dick. Glad we could clear that up. Yeah, peace out, stupid son of a bitch. Literally. Why, well, hello. Lovely to meet you. My name is Wedge. What's your name? Um... Well, I already told the other guy it's Waffles Flapjack, so you're going to get the same. I'm not going to be a liar. This is my real name. Good Cravy Waffles Flapjack is a special name. Very special indeed. Uh, we're going to say, uh-oh. Oh, you're one of them. <sighs> All right. Whatever. Ah, uh, it's not like I care. This is going to be Wedge's voice now. Uh, where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? What do you do for work? What do you do for fun? Or do you live around here? I feel like this might be timed, like it's actually speed dating, so... <laughs> that's why we ran out of time the last time with Philippe, so we should get through these. Where did you go to school? I was homeschooled in my home. It was normal, you know? Normal, just normal. I think I'm pretty normal. <laughs> Norm? Oh? Well, you are a pug. Um... <laughs> Would you like to see my collection of self-portraits, stamps, 90s R&B memorabilia, <laughs> denim jackets, or endangered butterflies? Um, endangered butterflies? Perhaps? Would I? Of course I would. You would? Cool. I have quite a collection of butterflies myself, you know. Oh, Wedge, you and I were a match made in heaven. Oh, that's so wonderful. 
Do you believe in ghosts, Santa, fate, miracles, yourself? Do you believe in fate, Wedge? No way. Ah, oh, darn. Urban legend. Myth, but we're fated to meet each other. Parable. Fabrication. <laughs> oh, I see on the back wall there behind um, his head, there's a little clock that says, like, how much time we have. Um, you're entitled to your beliefs. I'm not judging you. You stupid idiot. I agree with you. Shameful stare. I agree with you, Wedge. How could you not? Yeah, I want to wait. I want to date at least one of the dogs. I got That's a weird sentence I never thought I would say out loud, but... <laughs> If I were you, I'd agree with me too. So we gotta do our best, our damnedest to get here with Wedge. Uh, would you live in Portland, Oregon? <laughs> An igloo, Manchester, Hackney, Zanzibar. I've kind of got a thing for Zanzibar, so I'm definitely enticed. Nice, me and Wedge are hitting it off really well here. This is good. What are you thinking about? What would your superpower be? What do you do for fun? Um, yeah, what's your, uh, what is your ideal Sunday genre, film genre, movie? starting Pokemon? Hell yeah. Gotta ask the important questions. I've always gone for Bulba Store. Wait, can you pick that one at the start? <gasps> How could you not know? <laughs> You're just as bad as Gary. It's the only way to go. Screw you and screw Professor Oak. See, I'm more of a Charmander fan myself, even though he goes with a type disadvantage in the beginning of Red and Blue. But that's okay. I really like Charmander. He's cool. But Bulba Store is a close second, so it's the only way to go. I'll... Of course, don't take an Alkazam to work that one out. Or doesn't take an Alkazam to work that one out. Oh, you're funny, Wedge. I like you. We definitely need to see each other again. Uh, would you like to hear a joke? Oh, I guess this is goodbye. Um, see ya. I had a great time. I never want to see you again. Let's meet up again, Wedge. Farewell, Waffle Trapjack. I hardly knew thee. You used the wrong new, you jerk. <laughs> Wagwin Bredrin. Call me Ethan. You? <laughs> Call me Ethan. I think that's probably going to be all we're doing for Hot Day today, guys. But I'm going to leave a link down in the description below so that you guys can download this yourselves. It is absolutely free. You can donate to the developer if you would like to. But it's a goofy little concept. It's really funny. It's got a surprisingly human element to it with the whole, like, just quirky people who are out there. It just goes to show there's always someone out there for you. Wedge and I were a match made in heaven. He is my dreamboat OTP dog. So, <laughs> you know, if you guys are looking for new shipping fan art for me there we go there's an idea but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this episode i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video and favorite it. also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye